Hi everybody, Blossom again here. So, today I will answer question 14, 15, 16 and 17 of the 31 days of Tarot Challenge by Anthony. Now, the question number 14 is the court card you would date and or marry. Now, I have a bit of difficulties to really um, answer these questions because I think what makes a person interesting is those all those different layers and all those different facets and aspects of their personality so i cannot go just with one characteristic you know how, how the court cards are presented but however i chose two cards now and i guess i would go something between the knight of pentacles and king of pentacles because um, yeah, I am, me as an Aquarius, I'm very much in my head and above my head. So somebody who is really grounded and very down to earth would be very good for me. However, for this person, I would put in a bit of this and also a bit of this and here and here. And I think then we have actually an interesting person and I could even put more cards um, there to, to you know to really make that person interesting and at the end I think I actually married somebody like that um, so for the dating question I don't know really I'm uh, together with my husband for 14 years my dating time is <laughs> over <laughs> I don't know, it's been a while, so <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Now, for the question, the court card you would have as a best friend. Now, as you can see, I have a good mix here. I think, I, I can't, I really have to repeat myself here. I, I'm, I think to really narrow it down to one or two characteristics is not really my thing i don't like to label people like that um this is just me and i yeah i understand the question and it's to have fun but i i just want to say you know i like the nice mix of it so that a person has so many different facets and there are so many different aspects in their personality that's what what makes the person really interesting so yeah i like i really like that however I um, prefer that, mm, and no, I can't even say that I prefer that, but you know, the page energy, that young and that full of curiosity and they want to explore life, that is fascinating for me. Also the nights when they go with, with all that passion out into the world. Then however, when we have the queens with the nurturing, um, uh, their nurturing energy and then uh, the king that we can see as wise and strong so everything is really interesting and I I just can't make a choice here I'm sorry about that guys now next part of this question would be the court card you would have as a mortal enemy first of all I hope I will never have a mortal enemy <laughs> However, I chose now the King of Cups, um, but more, you know, in its shadow side. And um, that's because, you know, when this card shows up for me, um, this means this or it stands for a person who is not able to, um, to deal with its own feelings or somebody um, who is complaining a lot and you know the rest of the world is bad everything is bad it's everybody else's fault who cannot you know step into its own responsibility and also somebody yeah it's just constantly overwhelmed by everything and really somebody who let themselves go all the time and is unable to do anything and to take the, their life into their own hands. So this is w what it means for me and its shadow meaning. And you don't have to agree with this. Um, and yeah, that is somebody I, I don't like to spend time with those kind of people. 
I wouldn't say a mortal enemy because I just turn around and then it's okay, so why make an enemy out of it? <laughs> you don't have to spend time with those people. Um, however, yeah, and I think that's that. Now, question number 15. Your view on the tarot cord. Is the tarot cord outdated or not needed? Well, um, let's see. We have the... We have the kings, we have the knights, we have the queens, we have the pages. So uh, if we label them like that, if we name them like that, uh, yeah, this may be a bit outdated because it doesn't fit in our time anymore. But if you think about them as father, mother, sons and daughters, this is really fitting and this is a bit the way I think about them. And um, yeah. Not needed, no, they are needed because they show these different aspects of personality and they are standing for people and I think this is this is important for the tarot cards. So um, no, everything everything's good with the tarot court cards. So I don't know, it doesn't matter really how you call them. So we have four pages often princesses in, 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 in the tarot. Or we even, I think, some tarot cards even name them father, uh, mother, daughter, and sons. Um, all good with those. <laughs> we need them in tarot. And then question number 16, your current tarot crash. And if you have seen a few of my videos before, you can guess this. <laughs> so here we have Terror of the Hidden Realm. Absolutely in love with it. Then we have Terror of the She. Same thing here, and the Animal Totem Tarot. And again, absolutely love it, even if I don't have it very long and I haven't worked with it as much yet. So both the artwork for me is stunning, uh, how I work with them, it's just, um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then again, here, this is not for the artwork. Again, the Lord of the Rings tarot, but just the results I get with them. So this would be my current tarot crush. However, you know, I almost just buy a deck when I'm completely in love with it already. So I'm not a collector. I choose very carefully which tarot decks I buy. And they are on my wish list for a while, you know. Uh, I have some decks that are on my wish list over a year already and not because I buy other decks or something just because I really really think hard about it if I need it. And then the last question number 17 your tarot journal show us a few pages. Hmm <laughs> really? Well they are a bit messy. This is for my tarot, this is for my oracle or for my oracle readings and uh, yeah, well, it's not that neat, but that's okay. So those are a bit newer, so it's not that full yet. So I go quickly through them. Don't read it. <laughs> it's personal. No, however, I put the date on and sometimes here we can see when I do. I, I think deck interview is fine. So here you can see the deck interview I do with uh, different with my newer tarot decks. Um, sometimes I even put uh, moon face and how I feel before I do a personal reading. It's what I do. Same thing with the oracle. There we go. And I showed you a few pages. <laughs> So again, thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next days. Okay, bye bye.